The executive director of uh, Center for Transparency Advocacy Faith, Wadishi, has challenged the political class to stop money politics and all forms of inducement for votes. Wadishi spoke alongside other stakeholders at a roundtable talk. ...by those who collected their PVCs, that is 2,989,514 registered voters who collected their PVC across the country, I mean across the state. And elections we hold in the 25 local government areas, 5,863 polling units in for one state governorship and 28 state constituencies. Money politics, otherwise called vote trading, because for, it, for there to be a trade, there has to be a willing buyer and a willing seller. It has become imperative to say no to money politics, all forms of inducement and money laundering associated with our politics and elections. Citizens' choices must never be subverted by the negative use of money to influence votes, including the criminal purchase of PVCs. Until now, I cannot raise any issues. We only say challenges. <laughs> what are the challenges? We don't know. The next thing that they are reconfiguring. I mean, this is a building up of uh, doubts. You know, put that aside. There are several world that if we make love for beavers, beavers should play its own role openly and transparently. And therefore, those who are in charge of those beavers, the ICT, the Act of Information and Technology in INEC, should make sure that there are no challenges again, which are still undisclosed. No challenges. The law is there, the law will be done. And the security officers, these are the stakeholders. Please, the area that is important there is the area of intelligence. Our brothers in uniform, who were given the job of watching over us, that <laughs> we have placed all confidence and hope in them to make sure that we have a peaceful election. Uh, most times, you see, when we accuse the police or other sister agencies, we forget that they cannot come out on their own to uh, induce or even go against the law they are charged to protect. If somebody does not go to them to say, please, oh God, I have this. Instead, during this presidential elections, we saw, you know, much as there are very, very, up to 90% of the policemen and other security agencies are good and not right. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.